So this video is about how to uh, create projects and set projects and save your work. Now it's very, very important when you're working in Maya uh, that you do set your projects properly um, and name your projects um, and save them in the right place. File management is an incredibly important part of successfully working in Maya. And if you don't ha develop good habits with file management, you will very quickly find uh, that you uh, end up with very, very chaotic, um, uh, uh, a very, very chaotic um, uh, folder structure. So, when when we, um, I'll just actually um, uh, delete this ball that we've got here, and uh, and then um, uh, create a new one. So let's say we're going to animate a bouncing ball shot, which we'll do in week one. And uh, so we're going to go create polygon primitives sphere, and there it is. There's our sphere. Just move it above the uh, grid there um, and um, uh, admire it, move it around a bit, leave it where it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, and now we're going we're gonna to call this, we're going to make this our bouncing ball shot. But the first thing we want to do is, is go from uh, under the file menu up here, we're going to set our project. Or rather, uh, what we'll do first is go to the project window uh, um, settings uh, and make sure that uh, we create our project properly. So here it is. Here it is. Project window. Right now, um, uh, the project is called uh, default. So let's just click new there on that button, and we'll call this new project. Now this is going to set this in a location. Users Alex Williams. That's me. Uh, documents Maya projects, and Maya will automatically um, uh, default to this folder. Obviously, with your work, it's going to have your name here. So it'll be users. Uh, uh, Maya animator, that would be you, documents, Maya projects. And that's good. That's where we want our projects to go in the project folder. Now, you're going to name your project, and I'm going to call this uh, week one uh, underscore. Uh, Maya doesn't like spaces, so you generally speaking don't want to leave spaces. Uh, bouncing, uh, let's see if I can spell here, bouncing ball. Okay. Um, now, um, it's also going to create, Maya will also create a bunch of um, uh, 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 subfolders for you. Um, and um, uh, 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 the, that's, that, that these are the subfolders that it's creating here. So we're going to accept this week, week one bouncing ball. Um, and we'll just go click accept there. Uh, and now let's let's um, set to that project folder that we've just created. So cre um, creating a project and, and setting to it is a two-step process. First of all, you go to project window to create your new project, and then you're going to set to it. So we're going to go to set project right here. So I'm going to go to file, set project, um, and here it is. Now the, the, we're, we're automatically in users, Alex Williams, documents, Maya projects, and it's automatically set us to uh, week one bouncing ball. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click set and Maya will now set to that project and that's the basic process. Incredibly important to do it right. When I'm uh, teaching in universities and schools you'd be amazed how many people don't bother to set their projects and they end up with all kinds of trouble. It's very important to tell Maya where you're working. Now that we've done that we can go ahead and save the project. So I'm going to go to file Save scene as. And now, because we've set our project, Maya has automatically found that folder for us. So here we are, we're in users, Alex Williams, documents, Maya projects, week one bouncing ball, scenes. So Maya has automatically found the scenes folder for us and it knows where we want to put uh, our scene file. So we're going to call this bouncing, again, I'm going to use the underscore because we don't want to leave gaps, bouncing ball underscore. V001. And actually, what I'll do even better, I'm going to call this Alex Bouncing Ball V001. Now, you might think that the Alex is redundant. Of course, it's done by Alex. I know that. You know that. We all know that. This is my computer. Um, who else would it be done by? But it's very good to develop at an early stage useful and sound production habits. The whole purpose of this course is to get you a job. If I don't get you a job by the end of the course, then I'm not doing my job right. And what I want is for you to become professionally trained so that you can go out there and get work. And part of getting work is knowing production discipline and understanding that naming conventions are incredibly important.
and you must name your work and you must put your name in there because when you send a shot to animation dailies the editor wants to know whose shot it is and if you put your name in there uh, then that really really helps Alex is a common name these days there are lots of Alex's around there so I'm actually going to put Alex W make it even clearer Alex Williams Alex W bouncing ball version 1 now you'll see down here we can save this as two different file types we can save it as an ASCII or a binary it doesn't really matter which one you do ASCII files are slightly larger they're slightly easier to disentangle um, if you uh, if you get a corrupt file binary files are smaller for now I'm going to call it minor bi uh, Maya binary just because I don't like cluttering up my hard drive with too much space but you can use either one so I'm going to click on save as and um, uh, it's now going to pull up this little window here that says this is a student version of Maya. That's right. You're probably using a student version of Maya as well. Um, and so am I because this is an educational uh, uh, training video. So I'm going to click continue. And that should be done. So now let's go. Let's check to make sure that's worked. I'm going to go to file, open scene. And there it is. Alex W. Bouncing Ball version 1. And you always want to do this when you're creating a new shot. Um, so uh, the steps are basically uh, file um, uh, project window to uh, to create your project set project in order to set it then save it and once you've saved your your shot as um, uh, 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 scene one you can just go ahead and save over it go to save scene but I'm going to suggest that you don't do that I'm going to suggest that you save your work every 10 to 15 minutes and you always go to save scene as and when you save it you click on it and that will make it appear down in this window here and then call it version 2 and that's why I've created V001 V002 because you're gonna to want to create many versions of your shot and you're gonna save every 10 to 15 minutes and you want to get into the habit of doing that why do you want to save every 10 to 15 minutes the reason is that Maya is temperamental like all big complex pieces of software, Maya is temperamental, fussy, and often crashes. So now we've got two versions. If one of these scene files gets corrupted, we can go back to the previous one. Uh, if I don't like my animation, I can go back to a previous one. It's good to have lots of versions of your work. Uh, it's a good habit to get into. Uh, so save often, always set your project, always um, create your project folder, um, and actually I'll just show you what the project directory that it's created is, is if we go to file open scene now if I go up one in that directory you'll see that the week one bouncing ball has created a number of subfolders and those are very useful because you're going to put your movie files in your movie subfolder if you if you have source images say textures that you need to load up we're going to put them in the source images folder audio will go in the sound folder uh, final images, rendered images can go in the in images folder and so on. So Maya is very helpful this way. It creates these subfolders for us automatically as long as we go through the correct procedure. Now if I double click on scenes that will take me to bouncing ball which is where I want to save my work. Okay so that's a, a brief basic introduction to how to uh, create a project, set a project uh, and save your work and remember save often and always name your work very clearly.